I would recommend that you set up a My EBSCO account in EBSCO Host. It's a free service and it will make your life a lot easier and give you a lot more uh, options in your research. The way to sign up for a My EBSCO Host account is just to go up here along the top toolbar of EBSCO Host and click Sign into My EBSCO Host. Now you're a new user, so you want to click on I'm a new user and you will get the page that allows you to set up your account. Again, it just wants your first and last name and email address uh, and your username and password and a secret question in case you forget. I've already got one set up, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and sign in directly with the username and password that I have set up. And now I'm signed in. A lot like Amazon, it will give me my name here and say, hey, are you not Anthony? Well, sign in here if you're not, uh, or sign out if you don't have an account. But you can see that not much has changed, at least on the main search page. But if we look in the folder here, you will see some articles that I have saved from a previous search. So anytime you see an article and you add it to your folder while you're signed in to your My EBSCO host account, even when you log off the computer and leave and come back a few days later, those articles that you've saved in your folder will still be there. So that's a very nice um, way of saving your research and coming back uh, to review it later. And as you can see over here, you can also save images, videos, and pretty much anything else. So I would definitely advise um, getting yourself a My EBSCO account.